Hi, and welcome back to episode four of Rick's Music Collection. My name is Rick Olivares, and in this series of videos, I'm showing you my music collection, whether it be vinyl, compact disc, cassette, zine, poster, whatever. We could even be discussing a lot of stuff. Uh, for episode four, I'll be showing you some records. Uh, it'll be my seven inch collection of Philippine punk, hardcore, metal, and alternative. It's just one part. There's going to be a second part to this one because there's a lot. Okay. Well, let's, let's start. This is the Japanese pressing of Freddy Aguilar's Anna. Japanese pressing of Asin. There you go. This is the German pressing of 70s funk and soul band, please. It's a really good funk and soul band. You know? Very tuneful, very underrated band. So the name of the band is Please, and this is another single. This came out last year, if I'm not mistaken. It's a reissue of another 70s funk and soul band, SSS Coffee. There you go. This one is a flexi disc of uh, Filipino American band Flower. Uh, some of the members are with Versus, another Filipino American band from New York City. Okay. This came out about three years ago, something like that. Now, this is a retro new wave band from Long Island called My Favorite, and they are one of my favorites. I've been listening to this band since 1999, okay? Um, so why is it, what's it doing in this box? Uh, the bassist Gilbert Abad is Filipino, Filipino-American. Okay. That cover, really love this band. If you're into New Order, The Smiths, uh, with a dash of prefab sprout, you know, that's them. That's my favorite. Okay. This was a recent single from my favorite picture this. Uh, another recent single from them. You're talking about Versus. Uh, this is Oriental American. It's uh, like a bonus single that comes with their album, Two Cents to Stacks. This is Filipino band Apple Orchard and released by an American indie label. I have a couple of their EPs and singles, The Month of Spring, and this one. This one is a rare release, very rare, because I think there are very few copies of this, not even probably 20 copies of this one. Grosses Effectus, Bing Austria, and the Flipping Souls numbers. Okay. Philippine Dream Pop Band, Balloon Derby, up, up and away. Obviously, this is released abroad, pressed abroad. This is a song that uh, was played on DZRJ, but only got its vinyl release uh, a year ago, something like that, In Love With You, okay, from Hourglass, and uh, you have the original and the remake version, okay. So another copy. Uh, they're both numbered, so I have number 58, and number 59 of 100 copies of this one. Uh, Double-sided uh, single from Eli Bundi and the Itchy Worms, uh, Pariwara and Butang. My other copy is signed by Eli Bundi. This is from DJ RB1 and uh, Trapper Keeper featuring uh, Kato of Narda. Now this is one of my favorite Filipino bands. They're a psychedelic band based in Pateros and also here in Antipolo. 
It's the insect life cycle. This is split EP with Jack Ellister. I have almost all the records save for one seven shingle. Okay. This came out a couple of years ago. The insect life cycle, zookeepers, cardinal healing forum, seven inch. They're a psychedelic man, very really good. Second copy of it. Shoegaze band, Moscow Olympics. Another of their EPs. And one of, one of them. So I, I have everything they put out in vinyl. They recently had an album reissued on 12 inch and you'll see that later on. Uh, dub musician Red Eye. Uh, this is pressed in Japan by Oto Records. Uh, Red Eye is one of our dub artists here in the Philippines. Another of his collabs. Okay. This, I think, came out this year. Uh, the last physical release of Sandwich, this is during your anniversary show. Um, I have two. One is signed by my friend Raymond Marasigan. Okay. Uh, These are some underground metal bands, uh, human mastication. This one is from Pathogen and it's like a test press. Cody Hor, band from Davao. Maniac, Steel Funeral, Pagan Fire. Yes, these are all Filipino bands. Okay. More of that stuff. Okay, this is Aggressive Dog Attack, a hardcore band. Uh, and this is pressed in Spain. I have two of them. Two copies of this one. This came out in the 1990s, if I'm not mistaken, or early years of the millennium, Embrace Relations. Okay. All female band. Bad Omen, Echoes of the Condam. Biofeedback. They're defunct already. Caribbean and Tao. I, ooh. Mm. Test press of Chokokoy. The non test press version. Uh, EP from Clean Slate. This is from Escapo and Estucas over this one. Split. Take a look at the back. The title of Escapo, one of your songs, Ampatua. Right. Now this one, this next EP that you'll see is one of those um, records that got me back into local music because I had been away and I had just returned to vinyl as well. And after a long spell, as I said in previous videos, I would buy records once in a while, usually punk bands, hardcore bands, and occasionally something that really interested me. But for the most part, I was just buying CDs. And when I had returned, uh, it was this one, Exilidors from the Deleted Noise Records, Kamataya no Kalayaan. As you can see, that's from the Ninjola Massacre. I saw this in Toti Dalmashan's shop. This is pop. And this looked so out of place because if you know what 
talking sales in a shop that's anything but this. But it turns out that the guy who runs mutilated noise records who put this out was his high school classmate. And I'm working with the classmate of this, Noel Francia, putting out some records, okay? So this one, I, I got it, two copies of it, one. And I started searching for punk underground releases. And it led me to most of this, like, it definitely sandwich is not underground, right? Straight edge band feud, you're now defunct. It took us over Disneyland. Very graphic, you know, the punk and hardcore imagery is very uh, striking. Okay? Kill Ratio, your EP Ereje. That's a burning church on the cover. Now, this one is a split single between the saddest landscape from Boston and our very own Lagarda. This are live songs recorded at Moe's, and you can see the date right there. Um, this is uh, December 3 in 2017. And there are only 50 copies in the world of this one. And this is the 50th copy, the 50th and last copy of this land. Okay. Split, uh, split the EP. Monthly Red is a band from Pampanga. Okay. Test press, test press of an unreleased an EP from Oi Squad, never came out. Okay. From hardcore band or grindcore band Kiboloi. I know, right? <laughs> I have two of them. This is a split from hardcore band's uh, Random Violence and Value Lasts. I have two because they're different colored vinyl. Okay, let's take a look at one of them. One of them is in clear, transparent vinyl. The other one is on mint green. Okay. Another split uh, between two local bands, Thought and Push the Side. Unforce, hardcore band. From Veils, okay. this one is multiple covers. Same EP, this is one of those other covers. This is a test press of Veils second EP. Okay. Uh, well wishers tongue okay and this is when it was released as you can see it's soul trigger release show this next one that i'll show you this next ep is a bootleg okay? nightmare volume one and it shows the statues of the restaging of the later landings in 1944 okay? And look at the bands that are featured here. They're from the Twisted Red Cross days. And it does say that it, the songs are taken from cassettes, like you have Betrayed, RDA, IOV, Philippine Violators, and the Urban Bandits. No Futures of Adel, Pinoy Punk Rock, and EP. This is pressed in Germany, featuring uh, newer bands, The Beauty for the Doubt, Bad Omen, Toxic Orgasm, Monkey Red, Tiger Pussy, and Thought. Yeah, this is pressed in German. Uh, Filipinas Hardcore. Test press. Uh, it's features. Veils, Bard, Bad Mouth, and Fortress. Okay. The non test press version. This is volume two. Uh, the test press and regular. The bands here are Realidad. Repetition, collect, alas, and indifference. This is the test press of volume three. These are the bands. Hex, Construction, Sandy Good, War Crimes, Hanal. Okay. Now this will be out 
late, later this 2022. Okay. Now the next bands you'll see are Filipino bands based in the United States. This is split between Anino Ko and Namatay Sa Inay. Uh, this is a band based in Chicago. The front woman is a Filipina, but she was born in the United States, negative scanner. Another of their singles from negative scanner. This is among the next second wave of New York hardcore bands, Outburst. Uh, back in the 1980s, two of the members are Filipino. As you can see here, and yeah, um, they recently re-released -re this along with some other tracks that came out in a cassette, and it's on 12-inch vinyl. And I do have that. You'll see that later on when I show that stuff. RHDP Silinador, okay. like I said, graphic imagery. Okay, here's another one from. RHDP Parusa. Something like out of a Frank Miller comic book, the artwork. Okay? Now, it, there are just a few more that I want to show. This is from uh, an Italian hardcore band, The Seeker. Uh, the guitarist is Filipino. It's one. This is split with sidetracked. Split with IMDA. The next one is a, a hardcore grindcore band from Madrid, Spain. Uh, the vocalist Luis is Spanish, but he lived here in the Philippines for a long time. This is that his father was working in the diplomatic corps. I was able to help bring this band to the Philippines for a series of performances, and I do have their EPs. Okay? It's another one. And a record store they release from some time ago. It comes in this bag and uh, let me put it out. There, so that's what it looks like. It's signed by the band. Okay. In fact, all of it is signed by the band. After all, I did help them bring them over to the Philippines. So what you just saw is a box of seven inch singles and EPs by um, Filipino bands based abroad, or they have members that are Filipino. Maybe not born here, but certainly born abroad, definitely Filipino. Paren. And I showed you some local bands like uh, Eli Bundi and the Itchy Worms, as well as Sandwich, you know, Red Eye. You know, so this is just part one of my seven inch collection. I have two more boxes to go of seven inch records, but the next one we'll do is record store day since that's coming up on April 23. So I hope you're enjoying this, um, these videos. I collect because I'm a fan. I've been a fan since 1978. I've been listening to music since I was in fifth grade, but as a collector since I was in fifth grade when I got my first records. In sixth grade, I started buying my first records and tapes. And that ended around 91, 1991, when I switched to compact discs. As I said, I would occasionally buy punk and hardcore records, but not all the time. And you're going to see the, the stuff that I bought back then. I returned to vinyl. 2010, 11, 12, uh, sometime during, the, during those years. And returning full time was around 2016, if I'm not mistaken, like full time. I've been buying a lot of vinyl. Right. So, there, I hope you enjoyed this, uh, this episode of Filipino bands, underground, alternative, and independent bands, and putting releases out in this new millennium. Um, with the exception of Freddy Aguilar and Asin, these are put out in Japan, okay, Preston, Japan. So thanks, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.